What is going on guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and we have another piece of animation news and this time it is not Steven Universe but it is Star vs. Force of Evil. It is time. It is going down. It is finally the season where we got new premieres, episodes, all that good stuff and we finally have information on when season 3 is going to be returning. Thank you God. We still have two months to wait but it's all good. Uh, we have a new trailer. If you didn't see it already, the trailer itself is not super heavy with crazy stuff. There is one scene in particular that I want to talk about, but other than that, it's pretty happy-go-lucky, very lighthearted, nothing story-driven, no Eclipsa, no Toffee, uh, obviously no Toffee. <laughs> There's nothing super crazy in there. There is a burrito song, which is funny, but that's <laughs> that's about it. So I think we're going to get a lighthearted trailer for now, and then we'll probably get another trailer or two before it actually airs. And that'll probably go more in depth with, you know, the whole Star and Marco situation, the Eclipse situation, whatever else that we need to deal with. Because there's a lot to deal with right away following the events of Battle for Muni. So before I get into the scene, because there is one scene I want to talk about. Before I get into that, I wanted to break down the news. So it's actually airing on Monday, November 6th. And what's pretty cool or not cool about it, depending on how you look at it, is that this is going to be another quote-unquote star bomb, per se. Not like the band, not like the Game Grumps band, but the uh, kind of like the Steven Universe Steven Bombs, which this is not the official name for it, but that's what the fans call it, Star Bombs, because it makes sense. This is going to be airing for two weeks straight. Monday through Friday, we're going to get one new episode every day for two weeks. I think it's just the 11 minute segments, most likely not full 22 minute segments each, just the 11 minute segments. So hopefully we won't have to wait too long after this airs. Some people would prefer, prefer like a weekly kind of format. It just, it just feels like we're not waiting as long because once we get all of it in chunks, now we're just kind of constantly waiting. Whereas if we just have to wait a week for a new episode, then it's cool. And then that also gives us personally more time to review it and stuff like that. So Anyway, either way, I'm excited because Star is coming back. We finally know when it's coming back, so that's good. So anyway, I want to get into the scene that I found the most interesting out of all of the clips in this trailer, and that is the scene with Star and the Magical High Commission. And if you notice, she's holding Glossaric, and he's tied up on the wand, kind of like a leash, which uh, leads me to believe that they're going to try to heal Glossaric. I don't know how... They got Glossaric's body back. I guess Star kind of dipped down into the wand potentially, something like that. I don't know how else that would even happen. Um, he's magic, so <laughs> there's tons of possibilities. It's whatever. But another very interesting thing is that she's shooting a beam out of her hand. So I'm guessing she's kind of having a hard time controlling her dip down magic. I think she may have dipped down too far, and that may have been why Glossaric was actually kind of warning her. And he wasn't trying to play mind tricks on her when she was in the wand in Battle for Muni and she dipped down into the bowl of soup. Maybe he was very serious, like, what are you doing? Oh boy, this is not good. And that's why he kind of dipped out of there, no pun intended. And now she might not be able to control her magic as much. Or maybe she dipped down into, like I said, into the wand to get Glossaric so they can heal him. And that's what's causing this whole malfunction of her magic because she seems very not in control. Cloudy seems worried. Everyone seems worried. This just is not a good time. She bla she blasts Romulus in the face. She just it's just a mess. So I think Star is dipping down and she's not really sure how to control all that. Why as to why Glossrick's tied on the leash? Like I said, I think they're trying to heal him, and this is kind of reminiscent to when uh, Moon and Star had the magical high commission, and they were going to heal them in Battle for Muni, and they were kind of tied up like balloons. I think that's basically what's happening here, and he, Glossaric just has this blank stare on his face, so Glossaric is essentially quote-unquote dead, but I think this is what this mission is, and it could also be for Star to control her magic, or maybe that's not what's happening, and uh, we actually see in the next clip that she shoots a guard, so I don't know if she's like on lockdown because of her magic, and she can't control it, because the guard has like Marco's hoodie and stuff, or maybe she shoots him because he stole Marco's hoodie for some reason, I don't know why he would do that, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, uh, she has a new outfit, that's pretty cool, pony head's back, that's pretty cool, but other than that, there's really no crazy new pieces of information or anything we could really gather about any of the episodes coming up, so that's pretty much it for that. Like I said, we'll probably get another trailer coming up in the next couple of months, maybe in October or something, or maybe right in the beginning of November. Uh, probably get another trailer that'll most likely be more serious. Like I said, Eclipsa, Starco, Jackie, Glossaric, all that good stuff. Toffee's body, <laughs> if it's going to even resurrect, if it can resurrect, I think there's a lot to uncover here. So I don't think it's going to be all comedic 
quote unquote filler, if whatever you want to call it, episodes. I think we are going to get into the meat and potatoes, but I think they're just kind of leaning us into it for the most part. And this is probably a TV commercial, and the TV commercials tend to be a little more happy and lighthearted. So, yeah, can't wait. But what do you guys think of this trailer? If you saw, I'm going to leave a link. Uh, down below in the description and what do you think is happening in that scene do you think star is losing control of her dip down magic what do you think is going on with glossaric how did they find glossaric and most importantly what do you guys think about the format are you cool with the bomb type format where we get a new episode every single day for a set amount of time for a week or two or would you rather do weekly episodes so you don't have to have these long gaps where you're getting absolutely nothing? Let us know in the comments down below. We'd definitely love to hear what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more Star vs. the Forces of Evil stuff and all things animation. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever there's new news or trailers or theories and all that good stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've been Michael Williams. You've been watching Cartoon Universe. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.